It's the first, second week of school. You're trying to teach the students some things about how to think like scientists. If you want to use the term scientific method, that's fine. We're trying to remind the students that they've learned density before, even though they never seem to quite remember it or understand it. And on top of that, you had parent open house last night and you're tired. This is my favorite activity for that day. I call it flinking. I didn't come up with it. A uh, couple of teachers in Ann Arbor, Michigan, Amy Brazil and Bridget Tussaud made this up. What they do is they give the students large beakers, have them in groups of maybe two, this is what I do in my classroom, two people to a beaker. I'm going to use a, a tank here because it's showing up a lot better in the tank. We give the students a beaker full of water and anything you can find that you could hang on, say, a paper clip and attach it to a styrofoam ball. And what we're going to do here, or what the students are going to do, you're not, is try and make something that will go into the water and not float or sink, but flink. So what I do is I set up, I give each student a styrofoam ball, or each pair of students a styrofoam ball, and I'll put out buttons, paper clips, maybe some washers and hex nuts. Sometimes they like to add little pieces of aluminum foil. Anything you want that you can hang on a styrofoam ball. And their object is to get that styrofoam ball to hover in the water. Now we have one that's been pre-made by an assistant here. And it almost worked yesterday. Let's see if I can toy with it to work today. So we put it in the water. And right now it's not quite heavy enough. And what the students are going to do, and they'll sit back there for hours. You tell them it's a challenge. And they'll hook things on and they'll put something on and it'll be too heavy. So they got to take it out and they'll take something off and it'll be too light and they'll keep going back and forth. Somebody will come up with the idea of the aluminum foil won't add much mass but it'll add some volume. Hopefully they understand something about density. So if it's too heavy and I put some aluminum foil around it Maybe I can get it to float that way. Well, that didn't stand very well. The whole point of this assignment, though, is that you can, you can sit back and just watch the kids think. And I love to listen to them when they're trying to come up with their own methods. Um, I, I don't tell them how to do it. I don't know how to do it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Make it a competition have a beaker full of water up at the front desk and when they think they've got it, make them bring it up to your beaker. If you want to mess with their heads, have your beaker be a little bit warmer than theirs. That changes the density. Have it be colder. Throw some salt in it. It depends on how long you want this to last. If you, want, if you have black scheduling, you have 90 minute class periods, the students would love to do this the whole period. It's, it's a way to get them thinking and problem solving it's a way to get them thinking about density, and, and it's a way to get them out of their seats and doing something. Um, wouldn't spend too much time, they'd love to do it every day, because they want the challenge, they want to they solve the puzzle, they want an answer to the puzzle, and there isn't one. Um, but it, it's something the kids enjoy doing, and I like to do it if I have the time, because it really, sh when I listen to them, it really shows me how they're thinking.